What's up, fellas? All right, let's do some treehouse stuff. Hey, so I'm Jeremy Anderson, AKA Positive J. I was born and raised in North Myrtle Beach. Uh, started Treehouse about 12 years ago, been kicking ever since, playing music from the heart of Myrtle Beach and bringing that across the country. What's up, y'all? My name is JP Taylor. Just joined the band a few months ago. Honored that Jeremy had me come and play. But I'm a local musician here in uh, Myrtle Beach and um, just glad to be playing some trumpet, some flute, some piano with this band. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, Shane Violet from uh... Boston, Massachusetts. I joined the band a year and a half ago. I play bass and uh, also own a recording studio down the street, Loud House Audio. What's up guys? I'm Rusty Nygaard from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, but I've been playing with Treehouse now for the last year or so. I'm Jason Kaczynski. I currently live in Asheville, North Carolina, but I've been playing with Jeremy for several years. Always making trips down to the beach here and just digging the treehouse vibe even stronger these days than ever before. So uh, if we had to throw some genres together, I would say psychedelic reggae. If Pink Floyd and Bob Marley ever happened to have a 
impromptu jam session together. It might come close to sounding like Treehouse sometimes. Uh, the vibe is key to us. I mean, that's how I live. Uh, there's, you know, words can only go so far, so the vibe's got to take it the rest of the way to connect to the world, you know? And if we all get on the same vibe, uh, we'll enact the singularity, and then we'll all instantaneously enlighten ourselves. Let's do it. Last night I had a dream The world I cured all the suffering No more wars, no more disease No casualties or tragedies Perfect paradise Opened up right before my eyes People finally realize All the fighting kept us from the prize And I don't wanna be The one to read the eulogy In this procession Let us rise and say, Don't do no work and no fear tomorrow. Mama said this part of the daily chore. Work on my bones to the very core. It's a grave situation. Don't run and fight for the man no more. Don't even know what I'm fighting for. Bury the world just to win the war. It's a grave situation. Um, I actually found out recently from Myrtle Live how much music is happening across the Grand Strand every day. And uh, there was a time when I didn't really get to experience any of that because I was focusing so much on my own gigs or whatnot. Growing up in North Myrtle Beach, you know, uh, right down the street from the beach, you just automatically get the vibe. And also, like I said, everybody around the world uh, visits Myrtle Beach at some point. They got a story about Myrtle Beach. So I was influenced by a, a lot of different factors uh, rolling through the beach, you know. Uh, grew up with people from all over the country because everybody comes to Myrtle Beach. So I started out just wanting to play acoustic and fit in and I realized that Myrtle Beach was an awesome place to do that. Coming back home and kind of kicking more and more cover gigs, you know, and I did that around the Grand Strand for a few years. and I was bar backing at Herald's on the Ocean up in North Myrtle Beach and then moved over to Pirate's Cove and basically just got a gig the next day after the season, uh, got thrown into the mix and didn't 
ever stop. So for, you know, starting out, if you just want to play music, Myrtle Beach is a great place for it because there's so many opportunities to do that. So I was very blessed to end up playing six nights a week, starting out just playing covers. And through that, got to find what I liked about every artist and genre, you know, and I took that and eventually formulated my own sound, started writing original songs and uh, taking them to other cities. This is a song I wrote for my wonderful fiance, but it's a song for all of us because it's all about the moment and that's all we got.
So to describe over the past decade, the growth of Treehouse and our journey, we're one of the few reggae bands in the area and Myrtle Beach has its own house of blues. We actually got a lot of opportunities opening for every act I can imagine. 311, Dirty Head, Steel Pulse, Soja, legends in our genre. And it's a little surreal for me because in the moment, you know, Jason, you've been there for several of them. You just want to do your job and get out of the way, you know, so you don't even really get to absorb it. And then, you know, a friend comes up to me and is like, dude, you just opened for 311. That, that's it. I was like, hey, I guess it is pretty cool. Myrtle Beach has been good to us like that. Um, being one of the few nationally touring bands out of Myrtle Beach, we've been blessed with a sponsorship from Spirit Airlines because Spirit has a hub in Myrtle Beach. They take us all over the place. Yeah, and, they do. You know, like you said, opening for these bigger bands and getting all over the country. I mean, that's how I ran into you. I was living in Raleigh at the time and this awesome band Treehouse was opening up for some other people we went to see and, you know, Things just happen like that with growth of bands and running the different musicians along the way. And, you know, it, it's huge to then be able to come back home to Myrtle and do what Jeremy's been doing for years. And, you know, we've been playing together since 2014. It's just, that's what, you know, growth has all happened in the past 10 years. Hey, fellas, let's do uh, Preach. This song was born right here in Myrtle Beach with uh, my ex roommate, one of my best friends here, Nick Thompson, Thief Club. Yes, come on down. <laughs> Sit.
Yeah, Myrtle Beach uh, definitely influences us being here. Uh, right next to the beach just puts off that vibe. And, you know, country music's still real popular here. Beach music's still real popular here. But this is one of the few hubs on the East Coast that uh, they'll always embrace that reggae vibe too because we're right next to the beach. Mm -hmm. I think we can kind of take that energy other places too, whether it's going away from the beach or when we like to go to other spots, whether it's down in Florida or down in St. John, it's like we feel very at home with our sound and how that fits in that type of environment too, because it was bred at the beach. Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, uh, you know, Treehouse originally starting out before we even like really realized we were a Treehouse, you know, we were just three friends jamming back in the day. Cut our teeth right down the street at the beach house. You know, we became the house band and got to do whatever we wanted and basically rehearse <laughs> at the bar. I think um, starting out with that uh, is an amazingly modest approach that keeps us humble. And uh, we do take that vibe everywhere, even if we, we don't do this often, but if we go play in the snow somewhere, you know, I feel like we warm those people up. Well, hey fellas, we find ourselves in an interesting situation with a one-of-a-kind view of downtown Myrtle Beach here that not many people get. I haven't even seen this in my entire life living here in Myrtle Beach. So it's a beautiful view, and I think we owe it to this beautiful view to play a beach classic. Off the cuff, never having thought about this before. Let's see what happens. A one, two, three, four. Off the cuff. Off the cuff. <laughs> Myrtle Beach, baby. Yeah.